Hello, today we're going to make pan rolls with using the bread machine. Now this is an easy recipe. Basically what you do is you put your ingredients in the bread machine, let them go through one cycle of mixing it and letting the dough rise. The machine will turn off, you take it out, form your rolls, and put them in the pan and let them rise one more time. It's really easy and I'll show you how to do it. Today we need two-thirds cup of water, one egg, I've beaten it a little before I add it, three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoons of softened butter, two teaspoons of sugar, two-thirds cup of cottage cheese. I'm using today the 1% small curd. I thought I bought the 4%, but it doesn't matter. Use this one if you want. And I am also going to use one and a half teaspoons of yeast. Now this recipe also calls for dill, and onion but I just want a plain roll today I'll put that in the recipe when I write it up I just want a plain white roll today and so I'm going to use these ingredients let's get them in the bread machine I've put my paddle in my machine it's a little gizmo that comes in and out and that's in there ready to go my machine calls for the liquids to be added first so here goes the two-thirds cup of warm water one egg And then I have one and a half tablespoons of butter. I softened it. It's just, I just let it sit on the counter for a little bit. That's all I do. There, that's it. Next goes the three cups of all-purpose flour. Just put that in. You know, I got this recipe from a birding friend. Her and her husband are birders, Barb. And uh, she is such a good cook. She had me over for lunch one day with a couple of her friends and she made these rolls and graciously gave me this recipe. Barb is one of those gals who has such a quick sense of humor. She's a birder and she is such a hoot. She picks up on any pun, double entendre, any satirical thing, any unique thing in speech or behavior, she can pick up on it and she's a riot. Okay the salt's going now, it's one teaspoon and remember like I said before with the dilly dally rye Put it in the corners, because if you don't, it will meet the yeast too soon and kill that yeast. Here's the sugar, which is two teaspoons. Now comes the really odd ingredient, and that's the cottage cheese. You just kind of put that in there. I kind of put it around different spots, kind of get it worked around there just a little bit because the last ingredient is the yeast. I'm going to make a little well there so the yeast can go in there once again so it does not meet that salt too soon. One and a half teaspoons and it's ready to go into the bread machine which is what I'm going to do next. I want you to see that you always want to check and make sure that the paddle is working and it's turning here, it's working. And this is an hour and 30 minutes. It will beep when it's done. The dough has just come out of the bread machine and I put it on my counter. I've put a lot of flour on the counter and it's sticky on one side so I kind of rolled it. What I'm going to do now is make an 18 inch roll out of this. Now I'll do this off camera because my, I'll know I'll get in the way. Okay, I'm almost there. You just kind of gently roll it and pull it. And I have this fancy measuring stick that I purchased right here. Okay, there we go. You want 18 inches. I hope you can see that. And now we're going to cut it up. You're going to want to cut this up into 12 pieces. You work each piece of dough into a ball. And sometimes you can just go like that and just work it like that. And so you're supposed to have 12 rolls, but I've decided to experiment right in front of you. And I took four of the rolls and made some littler ones for those mini buns. We'll see how that turns out. Now I'm going to put them in my pan, which I have greased. I've turned my oven on to the lowest temperature and turn it off so I can uh, let the dough rise in the oven. Let me get this done and I'll bring, come back to you. Here we go. They're all set to go in the oven and we're going to let them rise for about 10 minutes. I use a lightweight dish cloth to put on them and I will let them rise. 
into the oven they go. By the way, my pattern is a little weird. There should have been 333 three, three all the way, but I tried the little ones. We'll see how that turns out. I like to experiment. I hope you do too. Okay, the rolls are out of the oven. If you remember, I set it to the lowest temperature, and when it reached that temperature, turned it off and put the rolls in. So let's see if they've risen in 10 minutes. They have. They have risen. And so what I'm doing now is I'm heating the oven up to 350 degrees. You take the rolls out of the oven when you're preheating. Then I'll pop them in the oven. It says 25 to 30 minutes. Well, I don't do it that way. I always do it five minutes less to make sure. They will go in the oven for 20 minutes, and then I will check them and see how they're doing. But for now, I'm going to put the lid back on to keep them nice and toasty. All done. These are Barbara's Easy Pan Rolls. Now, uh, how do you tell when they're done? Well, this is what you do. It's a very scientific test. Are you ready? You might want to write it down. You thump them. You hear that hollow sound? I hope you can hear it. They're done. And also you go by the color. You could even open one up to see if it's done. But it's uncanny. Martin has just come in from the woods and he can tell when I'm pulling something out of the oven. Uh, oh, you want one? You want me to heat? go do one? Here, let me do this one for you. I already split it. To put that one back. There you go. All buttered up. It's unbelievable how he can tell. He's got a nose. He's been working hard in the woods though. There you go. Well, what do you think, dear? It's a thumbs up from the North Woodsman. Well, here we go. Another easy peasy recipe. Let them cool a little bit. By the way, the little ones I tried making, they turned out great. So if you want big buns or littler buns, you can reach both with this recipe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. The easy to make, easy to eat. Bye-bye.